So in this video, we're going to look at how we can reduce, you know, give give us a limited number of shots. Now I can just shoot as as much as I want. I want to do say only five, and then I want to pick up more more ammunition somewhere, and then be able to fire more. So we're going to need a few things. First, we need a place to store our ammunition. Uh, the number itself. A convenient place to do that. So we're going to make a new script. Right click, create, C sharp script. We're going to call it game variables and open that up. Now, usually with other scripts like uh, that recursion cube, the cube that made more of itself, or if you attach some AI to an enemy, you're going to have maybe hundreds or thousands of your your component will be attached to a thousand different things. There'll actually be a thousand or so of your different of the same class. But this game variables, there's only ever going to be one. And the way you do that is you make it static. And you have to also remove this because we're never going to attach it to anything. And we don't need these. Next, we're going to make an int called it ammunition. And that's all we need here. This is going to be accessible from anywhere. Now, uh, there's an error on this. Um, yes. So always, if, if you get an error, always stop what you're doing and fix it. Because you don't want 10 errors at once. It's going to be hard to track it down. But I, can, I know exactly what the problem is. I just did this. This actually needs to be also static. Static means there's only one. Well, there is only one ammunition. I'm going to do public too. Public means anything, anywhere can access it. So now I have a place to store my ammunition. I'm going to open up projectile shoot or blob shoot from another video. And okay. Now here it says if we click, we'll shoot. We also want to check if we have enough ammo. So if we click and game variables dot ammunition is greater than zero, then we want to shoot, but we also want to reduce our ammunition our ammunition. Come on. By one. That's what this is, minus minus. This means game variables dot ammunition equals game variables dot ammunition minus one. It just decreases it by one. So that's good, but ammunition is going to start at null or zero. So on the start, we're going to start with some five shots. So now when I press play, I can shoot a bit. But now I've run out and I can click all I want, but it's not going to shoot anymore. So that's nice, but we also want to pick up more ammo um, to chart to recharge that. So first we're going to create what we're going to pick up, game object, create other uh, cylinder. I'm going to make it tiny just because. Okay, so we've got these this little cylinder, and well, I'll, I'll make the script then. So in asset scripts, right click, create, C sharp script, call it ammunition, and open that up. Okay, so we've used start and update before. These are Unity functions. Unity makes these happen. Start happens when whatever this script ammunition is attached to whenever that game object starts could be the start of the game or when the game object was made update happens every time there's a new frame or a new picture well we don't need any of these there is another one called void on trigger enter and we also get some collider information out of that this is going to happen when the thing we attach ammunition to is hit by something. 
Now we don't want to pick this up when anything hits ammunition. We, we want to pick it up when player does. So we got to check if the collider, this is the information we're given about the collision, the game object that hit us. I'm going to take its name, is it player? Now here we want to do it. So we're going to make our ammunition go up by two. Plus equals two means increase by two. And I'm also going to get rid of myself. So this isn't going to just get rid of ammunition. It's going to get rid of the entire capsule thing that it's attached to, the whole, the whole ammunition. And that's enough. So back to Unity. We need to attach our new script to this ammunition here. ammunition and I'm gonna copy this a couple times so we have more than one so now I've run out of ammo but if I pick this up oh right one more thing so I just ran into it it stopped me I actually have to change for all of them eh fine I'll delete them I have to change the collider. I don't want it to be a physics collider that I run into. I want to do is trigger, yes. So now I can run through it. Anything can run through it. But it's just going to do that uh, on trigger enter. It's going to use that now. Now I'm going to copy it. And there you go. So it disappeared. And now I've run out of ammo. Pick up some more four more shots and there you go you could do this too with uh, your jetpack you know when you hold shift check do I have enough fuel if I do remove fuel and if you pick something up it adds fuel same